This will be the uh, second video on percentage problems. Uh, before I start, though, I want to remind you that I do have another channel, Tony Pereira channel. It has a lot of uh, math tutorials, just like this one does. Uh, here I also try to give some videos on technology and related uh, videos. Uh, but I'll put a link to the other channel in the description in case you're interested in looking at what I have there and you haven't already seen it. Uh, so let me start again with this uh, second part of percentage problems. Remember last time we talked about uh, basic percentage problems. We looked at this formula here. A is equal to the rate or the percentage times the base. So we noted that the rate and the base are connected. So one of the main things you want to do when you solve any percent or percentage problem is identify the, the rate and what base goes with it. Because if you do that, you pretty much have the equation. So it's just a matter of solving for one of the variables, either the A, the R, or whatever the base might turn out to be. OK, so let's look at the first problem. Over the last five years, the enrollment of Martin Elementary School has increased from 600 to 945 students. What is the percent increase in enrollment? OK. So I have the answer there is 57.5%. So we're looking for the percent increase. Well, we can see that from 600 to 945, the actual increase in students is 345. So that basically means then that we can state it this way. 345 is what percent of 600? We know the actual increase, so we want the percent increase. So here's my statement. So I can set it up this way and say, OK, 345 is, OK, that's your equal, what percent So the what percent is the unknown here, and that's going to be R. Of means multiply, so this is going to be R times 600, or 600 times R, either way. So if we solve for R, we divide both sides by 600. So we have 3.5%. R then is equal to 345 divided by 600. So if you do that calculation, you'll get 0 .575, 0 .575. And of course, if you change that to a percent, uh, it comes out to 57.5%. Clear this. Okay. And the next one says John borrows five hundred dollars from a loan company. He must pay the loan in one month. The interest is fifteen percent of the money borrowed. What amount does John pay back at the end of the month? Well, obviously, he has to pay back the $500 plus whatever interest. And this is kind of kind of high, but it's just a problem to illustrate some examples here. So the 15% obviously is based on 500. So those, those two go together. 500 then is the base. So here we have it, uh, 0.15 times the 500 is 75. That's the actual interest. So the amount paid is what he borrowed plus the interest. So at the end of the month, he'll pay 500 plus 75. So a total of $575. OK, so that one's pretty straightforward, pretty much like the ones we did in the last video.
Uh, the next one, uh, more algebraic in nature, if you want, but still using the same concept or ideas that we talked about before in the other problem. So we have a mixture of water and alcohol is 15% alcohol. If there are 20 ounces of the mixture, how much water should be added? To obtain a mixture that is 5% alcohol. Okay. And the answer is 40 ounces. And we show you, I'll show you how we got that. So there's 20 ounces and 15% of it is alcohol. And we want to create a mixture that, again, is 5% alcohol. So in other words, we want to dilute the alcohol. So by doing that, we have to add water. If we wanted to decrease or increase the uh, percentage of alcohol, we'd have to decrease the water, right? So uh, in this case, then, how much water do we add? to dilute it from 15% alcohol to 5%. First of all, let's find out how much alcohol we have in the mixture. There's 20 ounces altogether, and 15% 15 uh, of it is alcohol. So if we multiply those, those that's the rate and your base, right? They go together. 15% of 20 as a decimal, that would be 0.15, is equal to 3 ounces. So three ounces of alcohol in the mixture. So we want to know how much water, how many ounces of water must be added to come up with a mixture that's 5% alcohol. Okay, so I'm letting X, in this case, be the unknown. So 20 plus X will equal to the ounces in the new mixture, okay? So we're going to add X ounces of water to the 20 ounces that we have of the current mixture. And remember, we're not changing the quantity of alcohol. The percent of alcohol is going to change. The percent will change, but the actual ounces of the alcohol is not going to change because we're not adding any alcohol or taking away any alcohol. So basically, what we have is this, then. 20 plus X. Okay, and that's the amount of ounces that we're going to have all together in the mixture. And we want then 5% of this to be alcohol. 5% of this has to be alcohol. Okay, so the 5% then goes with this base right here. So if we multiply this by 0 0.05. That'll give us the amount of alcohol in the new mixture, which is still going to be 3. Okay? Because we didn't, we didn't take away or add any alcohol. We just added water. So we do the multiplication here. 0 0.05 times 20 is 1 plus 0 0.05 times x is 0 0.05x. And that's going to equal to 3. Okay, so now we have a basic algebraic equation we want to solve it for, for x. So we add or subtract, rather, 1 from both sides. 
So subtract 1 here, we're left with 0.05x. Subtract 1 from the other side, we're left with 2. And then here we, we divide both sides by 0 0.05 to isolate the x. So these will cancel out. Divide 2 by 0 0.05, and that will give us the 40, or in this case, 40 ounces. So this is a typical mixture problem, if you want, that uh, you would encounter in, uh, say, an algebra course. Let's clear this. Let's look at the next one. This Jack will invest a total of $800 into two accounts. One pays 6% simple interest and the other pays 4%. If the investment is for one year, how much does he invest in each account if his return is $42? Okay. So in this, in this case, we're basically using, oops, your simple interest formula it says interest is equal to the principal, if you want, that's your base, times the rate multiplied by the time in years. Now in this case, the uh, time period is for one year, so the t is equal to one here. So we're just left with i is equal to p r, which is very similar to what we've been using in the general interest problems. a is equal to r times the base, or in this case the base is p, right? So b times R or R times P. Okay, so that's why we can apply the same principle to this to this particular problem. Okay. So a total of eight hundred, so we can we can set it up this way. Let's let X equal to the amount invested at six percent. Now, we could say let x be the amount invested at 4%. It doesn't really matter how you set it up. Okay, we do one way or the other. So in this case, x is equal to the amount invested at 6%. Okay, so what's left if we invest, invest x at this amount? Well, 800 minus x because the total is 800. So if we invest x at 6%, then 800 minus x is the amount invested at 4%. Okay. Now we know that the total return is $42 in interest. Interest earned is $42. So we set up again an equation involving these two. So these two quantities. So point zero six times x. Okay. The rate times the base times the time, which is one year. Okay, so this is this is the return on the uh, amount invested at six percent. And then we're going to add to that the other return. So eight hundred minus x. This was invested at 4%, okay, so multiply by 
four percent. I'll put it over here, 0 0.04. And this should be the total return, which is given to be $42. Okay. So we have 0.06x plus, and then here we just use your distributed property, multiply 0 0.04 times 800. Is 32 and then minus X multiplied by 0 0.04 will give us this and that equal to 42 and then we're just going to simplify this to solve for X okay so let's combine the 0 0.06 and the minus 0 0.04 X to give us 0 0.02x. And then here we subtract 32 from both sides to isolate the x. This will give us 10. And then here we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.02 to isolate the x. These will cancel out. Divide into 1. becoming 1 and then uh, x then is going to equal to 10 divided by 0 0.02 which is going to be 500 and that of course is in dollars okay so the answer then, of course, is $500 is invested at 6%, and then the difference between 8 and the $500 is $300, so $300 is invested at 4%. Okay, so these have been some basic uh, interest uh, problems, percentage problems. Uh, again, i got some more videos coming up on uh, technology. I think the next video I'll be doing on this channel will involve a uh, boss RC3 uh, loop station if you play guitar you might want to check that out uh, uh, more math videos coming up uh, any suggestions please post them and again remind you that the link for my other channel which uh, also has math tutorials would be in the description so i hope these are making sense to you helping you out uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching